Defining Geometry In this tutorial video, we will define the geometry of the wall we wish to analyze. Ready Rock blocks are predefined in the Blocks tab, which shows their height, width, unit weights, and shear strength values. The analysis is done for a unit length of wall, so there is no need for block length. The unit weight value is the average infilled unit weight, so includes the stone that will be placed in the block voids and gaps between blocks. The interface shear strength information is based on laboratory testing. Substantiating reports can be found on our website or in our design resource manual. The infilled unit weight and interface shear values can be edited to match your project specifics. Other values are fixed. The Geometry tab is where we go to select the type and number of blocks in our wall section. When you open the program, the geometry defaults to a 28-inch top block and four 41-inch blocks. Block configuration is changed in the frame area in the lower left portion of your screen. We have a few choices for top block, which is selected by the top block pull-down menu. We'll use the 28 inch top block. Let's change the section to try a nine foot tall wall with 28 inch top block, another 28 inch block, three 41 inch blocks and a 60 inch bottom block. To begin, click on the block 41 entry in the table. Note it identifies the block type, setback, and number of blocks. We will click on edit and change the number of 41 inch blocks to three instead of four as shown in the count box. Note that we can change the setback from the standard one and five eighths inches per course to three other options as your design might necessitate. Now we'll add a course of 28 inch blocks above the 41s. Click on add, select the 28 inch block from the drop down list, set the count to one and click add. Click cancel to end the input. To insert a 60 inch block to the bottom, Click Insert and repeat the same steps but with a 60 inch block. Now we have our initial block configuration for our 9 foot high wall to analyze after we're done setting up the base, soil profile, and loading conditions.